What is going on everybody? It has been quite a while since I made one of these. Um, I've got a huge stack of stuff that I'm going to show off. Um, but I just wanted to get a video in this week before I leave early Friday morning. I am heading up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Again, attending the uh, Colts and Packers game on Sunday with uh, fellow tubers. Um, Eric, 62 Chunk and Joey, Bearcat8, and hopefully, Helmet, Chad Kinzel, hopefully he is going to be able to go to the game with us on Sunday, um, but it's going to be awesome, I can't wait to get back up there, it's been a couple years, and last time about froze to death when I was at the game, this year... Quite a different story. It is supposed to be 57 degrees on Sunday in Green Bay, which is unreal. Can't even believe that. So it's going to be a really fun time. Um, so, yeah. I would be shooting this video outside, but there is an exercise going on in the base that has been going on for over a week, and they are flying planes nonstop. And you're probably going to even hear them in this video even though I'm inside the house because they just keep flying and flying and flying um, and it's November 1st and it is approximately 75 degrees outside right now it's insane it doesn't make any sense but uh, anyway I shall show some cards uh, there's so much stuff here that I don't even remember where it all kinda came from <laughs> there's just a lot of stuff um, up first, I'm going to show some cards from 2016 Panini Infinity. Um, Clay did not have any autographs in this product, but he had some relics and some nice looking uh, inserts. Um, but I went to a card show in Columbia sometime last month, uh, met up with RBI Crew 7 and Scott. Jayhawk and Tyson Magdorn was there. A whole bunch of people were there. And there's a guy set up there who I met probably, it's got to be like three or four years ago now. I think. Yeah, it was three years ago. It was 2013 because, anyway, it was 2013. Met up, met this guy at the show. And I walked into this show in Columbia, and he recognized me right off the bat. He had been putting back Clay Matthews cards for me. Anytime he would get them, he would just set them back. So he had a nice stack of stuff uh, sitting there for me, um, some base cards and some inserts and whatnot. And I made a purchase off of them, and I'll show a couple of those. Um, first, from Infinity, got this Season Pro Swatches. These are really sharp-looking cards. Uh, game use card numbered 38 out of 88 and then there was this was in there also this infinitude these are really neat looking like 3d type cards and that is numbered out of 188 and I ended up having two of those because I bought a lot on eBay that had this. This acetate see-through, this is a blue peril numbered out of uh, 88. This is why I like this product because you have these clear acetate cards and these are the base cards and they're really freaking cool and I just had to get them. So got those and then what else? Oh. I picked this up off of eBay. It does not pop like the blue version. It is the gold. It's not as nice looking. Um, but the gold numbered right there. Six out of eight. And the only reason I picked it up, I got this card for under five bucks, I believe. So got really cheap for an insert out of eight. Couldn't go wrong there. And what is next? Okay, this card right here came in a trade. Um, there's a guy out there on Blowout, and he's on Facebook, that's doing the 2011 Tops Master Set. He literally is trying to get every card in the product, 
every parallel, including one-on-ones and printing plates. The guy is crazy, but he, he has so much already. And I had a couple cards he needed, but they were my own PC. And I just told him, hey, if you ever come across something from this particular set, I said, let me know and we'll make a trade. I said, I'm not going to get rid of these to anybody else, so just however long it takes is how long it takes. And that was probably over a year ago. Well, I got a message from him on Blowout, and he goes, I got this coming in. He goes, do you want to make a trade? I said, absolutely. Um, but I traded uh, him the Green Bay Packers Super Bowl Championship Black Border card numbered out of 55. I had two of them. So I was, okay, giving one up. So I traded him that, and then I had, it was a Bowman Mini card numbered out of 50 that he wanted and of clay. And I don't have dupes of it, but I didn't care. It wasn't that important to me. I just picked it up randomly a long time ago. From, and uh, anyway, so I traded him those two cards, and this is what I got back. I'd never seen one before. Um, but 2011 Tops Red Border Parallel numbered 15 out of 77 really really cool card and these red borders only come in tops factory sets so really tough to come across these cards so I was really happy to get that I'm gonna turn on a light real quick because it's pretty dark in here Let's see if that helps a little bit helps brighten things up yeah, maybe. Can't really tell. I would, like I said, I like to shot this outside, but that just wasn't an option with all these planes. Um, up next, I made a purchase from Luke, Drunk Trojan One. Uh, Luke made it back from uh, his most recent tour uh, overseas, and while he was gone, he used his Panini points to buy some uh, White Prism Sparkle Packs, and he bought two packs and he freaking crushed it. I think that's I think he bought two. He may have bought more. But he killed it and one of the cards he hit, he told me and he goes, You wanna he's like, is this one you're interested in? And I said, Hell yeah. Um so he hit this, the Brett Favre White Sparkle Prism. And uh I agreed to purchase it because I love it. It's so freaking cool. Love these cards. Um But he also hit um he hit a PC card. He hit DeMarcus Ware, I believe, for himself. But these are supposed... To, the, the print run on these is believed to be five. And Panini won't say because that's just their style. But, uh... So these are really hard to come by. And I purchased it, and I got the package in from Luke. And he included some extras in there, which are really freaking nice. Um, again from Infinity. This is just the base card. This is what the base cards look like out of that product. I dig those cards. And he also sent the Brett Favre base card. Which is freaking cool. Love those extras. Then there was this extra. I'm like, man, you should not send me this. He, you, you could have made some money on this card. Um, but he also hit Jordy Nelson, White Sparkle. And uh, he was kind enough to send that to me. He said he'd rather it be in my collection than make a few bucks. So thank you very much for that, Luke. Love these cards and uh, happy to have you back, man. Well, I'll definitely be heading down your way sometime. Because uh, i got to see everything that you picked up in person because all the pictures are nice. But it it's pretty ridiculous what you've been able to uh, accumulate while you're gone. So I will see you soon. Um, up next, I think in my last video I showed uh, the card I picked up, the Clayton Kershaw from 2013 Tier 1 Autographs, um, and I said I was going to make an attempt at the set, and I've picked up some more of them, so here's what I've got. These first three cards all came from one guy, uh, his name is Jeff Lundy, um, I don't know if he's on YouTube, he's on Facebook, and uh, he sets up at shows, uh, um, he comes from... Kentucky, I believe. I think he comes from Kentucky. Uh, but anyway, he had these three cards in his case. He was set up at a show in St. Louis. Luke let me know that he had these, and he was set up next to Ryan. So I got in contact with Ryan, tell him to uh, 
tell Jeff to hit me up, and he did, and we were able to make a deal for these. But they're really, really nice. Love this set. Um, first card, numbered 141 out of 199 of Don Mattingly. On card, autograph. Beautiful set. Love that card. This is the highest numbered card in the set, and it's the only one numbered high. I think every other card in the product is numbered to... I think Bob Gibson might be 65, but everybody else is 50 or less. So, or, I mean, and they're, stop talking like an idiot. Um, anyway, I think everything is out of 50, almost every card in the set's out of 50. So, it's a doable set, just have to be patient because they don't come up all that often. So, we'll see, but Don Mattingly, numbered out of 199. Got that one from him. This one, one of the most beautiful signatures in all sports. Uh, numbered 32 out of 50. Andre the Hawk Dawson. His signature is so nice. And that card is just really nice. And they're in team bags, so it's not really doing it justice. But love that card. And the last one I picked up from Jeff, numbered 45 out of 50. Ricky Henderson, all-time stolen base king. That card is so sweet. Love that one. Ricky loves him some Ricky. And then the last card I picked up for the set. This is one of the cards I. This is one of the cards that made me want to do the set just because I want an autograph of this guy. I love the era that this picture comes from because I remember. I mean, this is during the heyday when A-Rod was there and I remember these jerseys because I had one of uh, A-Rod but they were the sleeveless jerseys with the uh, long sleeve t-shirts underneath and I just loved those uni uniforms but uh, even though I want an autograph of this guy and this card is beautiful um, I bought a it was a best offer on eBay it got a really great price on it and he even included the uh, original redemption but it's King Griffey Jr. And it's numbered 47 out of 50. And it is glorious. There are no streaks in that autograph. This line right here is lighter than the rest. But there are no streaks, no smudges, no skips. That is just a perfectly clean autograph from King Griffey Jr. Big, bold, on card. The blue ink on white card stock. With a badass photo. Does not get any better than that. So super pumped to knock out Griffey in that set. One of my favorite pickups the last couple months. Moving on. This card. Used to be, I'll show this one first. Um, with my eBay bucks, I decided to purchase this. Because I already had the 101 and I was able to pick up the silver border of it out of seven really cheap. So I was like, you know what? There's only two more. Might as well go for the uh, whole rainbow. And I used my eBay bucks on this one from Panini Lux. This is the gold framed autograph, number three out of five. Which left me with only needing the red border to complete the rainbow. And I used to own a red border and I sold it to... Uh, to a buddy in the uh, Facebook groups and I contacted him and said hey man you, you want to do a trade and him and I made a trade and I got this one back numbered one out of ten the red border Panini Lux framed autograph so there's the red out of ten silver out of seven gold out of five and the black border 101. So cool to have another rainbow completed, especially an autograph rainbow. So we've got those. This card just came in the mail yesterday, kind of sort of came in the mail. It was supposed to be delivered to the house. It was out for delivery. I go check the mail. The mail's in the mailbox. This wasn't in there. I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. So I ended up having to go down to the post office and said, hey, um, I had a package marked out for delivery that didn't quite make it to my mailbox. And I said, it didn't get delivered anywhere else because it wasn't scanned as delivered. 
So waited around for about 20 minutes or so, and they looked in the back and they found it. Apparently, um, my normal mail carrier, he was not working yesterday, and they had three different substitute drivers in there delivering mail. So they were way behind. Um, so that's what happened. It just got uh, lost in the shuffle. But super beautiful card, able to pick it up. Um, I wasn't planning on picking anything up from this product until I saw what these cards actually look like when they came out of the boxes. And I'm like, oh my God, it has everything I like about cards. So I had to pick one up. But from 2016 Panini Elegance, or not Panini Elegance, Panini Impeccable. This is the Elegance Patch Autograph. Clay Matthews numbered 16 out of 20. Nice big chunk of patch in there. And of course, the lighting sucks balls. Yikes. Yeah, that's not showing up at all. But all the foil around this card is gold rainbow foil. And it's on card autograph. Love the artwork. And this is a canvas texture. So these cards are really, really nice. And they're selling, for, I mean, the boxes of this product are insanely expensive and definitely not worth busting. But if you can get the singles, that is the way to go. Yeah, it's a bummer that I can't get any of the light to show. Because these cards are truly beautiful in person. But happy to have that one. Uh, picked up this card in order to complete another rainbow. And I got this super cheap. It was up on auction. And I won it for $20 and some change, which is unreal. Um, but for my favorite product last year, 2015 Tops High Tech. This is the Black Galactic Diffractor 101. Yeah, God dang it. This light really does suck balls. That's too bad. But this card is really beautiful. You see a big old 101 up there, but yeah. I got this card for $20 and some change. That's pretty ridiculous. Beautiful, but it completed a rainbow in that I have all the true 101s from Topps High Tech last year. This is the base black 101. They call it the black rainbow. It's just not going to pick up on camera here, but there's the 101 up there in the corner. And then I also had the black galactic diffractor autograph. So, these are the three true 101s from High Tech. So, another rainbow complete. Is this what I'm showing next? Yeah, this is going to complete the Clay Matthews portion of this video. And it's a hell of a way to go out. Um, woke up one morning and I had a missed uh, PM on Facebook. And it was a picture of this. And another group that I was not in, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe that. But this was pulled by a guy out of retail at Walmart. And that is just unreal. And it said not for sale, not for trade. But to me, that's just, I, I, I don't believe that. Money talks. And if you say the right thing, you can usually get somebody to let something go. And I was able to do that. Uh, contacted him and he wasn't really interested in selling it because of pulling it and everything but I made him an offer he really couldn't I mean he could refuse it I mean I wouldn't have blamed him because it's an awesome card um, but he saw my collection and he understood why I wanted this card and he's, if he's going to let it go this is the collection to go to um, but yeah I can't believe he hit this out of retail it's absolutely insane go ahead and pull it out of here um, but this is from 2015 tops chrome mini and i believe they sell these in like three card blaster packs at walmart uh, they just have three hobby packs and inside the little uh, uh hanger pack and he pulled this out of one of those three packs but from 2015 tops chrome mini this is the Super Fractor Mini Retro Autograph, the 1987 Topps design. This card is nuts. 
There's the one on one. But to have this card, oh my god, I cannot believe I own this card. And I own the big brother of it together. To have both of these one on ones makes me very, very happy. Love these cards. And uh, super happy to be able to purchase this. Uh, Chad Kinzel, Helmet, he's the one who uh, sent me the picture and let me know that this had been pulled. And the guy ended up being a really cool guy. He collects with his son. Um, they're huge Kentucky basketball fans and um, just Kentucky sports in general. So after I purchased this and it came in and everything, I went ahead and sent a card to him to give to his son. I sent him a really nice uh, Randall Cobb autograph rookie card uh, to go along with their the Kentucky stuff, and I was really happy to do that. And I, I just wanted to show him my appreciation for letting this card go because I know when you hit, I can't even imagine pulling one-on-one -on -one super fractors that doesn't even compute to me. So for him to let that go to me, I really appreciate it, and I wanted to give him an extra thanks along with the big stack of money I gave him for that card. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I've got four cards left and they are all big for me. Uh, this card right here, I picked this up at that show in Columbia, um, from another regular at Ryan shop, uh, Denny. Um, when I was down there for trade night, he told me he had this coming in and then he would let me know once it had come in and we'd probably work out a deal. Well, didn't really hear anything from him, and I didn't really think anything of it because I had kind of forgotten about it. Uh, but when went to that show in Columbia, he was there, and he had it, and uh, we were able to work out a deal for it really quick. Such a beautiful card. Probably won't show up on camera because lighting sucks. Um, but again, 2015 Tops High Tech. This is the Clouds Diffractor Autograph. Looks like bubbles, that's why I like to call it. Um, but beautiful on card autograph. Brett Favre, numbered 22 out of 25. Super nice card. I like it. So thank you for that, Denny. Um, now, the three monsters. These cards are all huge, and I love them all. Uh, this one popped up on eBay with a pretty reasonable the only reason I went after it is because the seller wasn't insane right off the bat he had this listed for 399 or best offer and I was like okay I'm going to be able to purchase this I think and I submitted an offer and he came back at 350 my offer I think yeah my offer was 300 he came down to 350 and I said, you meet me in the middle and we got a deal. And he did, and it was just that simple. Made the deal really quick, and it is awesome. This is one of my favorite pickups in a long time. Uh, but from 2015, Panini Crown Royale. This is the Prime Silhouettes Patch Autograph on card emerald version of Brett Favre. And it is glorious. Man, my nothing's wanting to work right now. Let me try something real fast. Like, see if I can do this without accidentally hitting into the video. I'm going to clean off the camera lens real fast. There you go. Have a seizure. And back down. Let's see if that made any kind of difference. Maybe. I don't know. I can't really tell. My screen's kind of dirty. I, I'm a mess. I'm out of practice. I haven't made a video in so long, but beautiful blue long card auto. Go, auto. Uh, three color, four break paint patch in there. Obviously from the sleeve on the uniform, but absolutely gorgeous. Green, obviously, team colors. And that card is numbered. 4-4, four, four, jersey number, awesomeness. I love this card. And I got it for a price I am very happy with, so. 
good purchase all around. Okay, the last two cards. These two cards uh, I was able to purchase thanks to a deal I struck with Ryan, Mr. RBI Crew, seven, Ryan. Um, at that trade night, I took a card down there, which is a really rare, tough to find card. You just don't ever see him for sale. Um, but I knew Ryan really wanted it, and I knew he wanted it for his PC, so I told him, hey, we'll make out it, we'll work out a deal for this. And there wasn't anything there at trade night that I wanted, and I was, I'm obviously very picky on what I collect, and I told him, said, hey, you just find me a couple cards and down the road, and we'll, we'll work something out. No big deal. And, uh, I know he was searching and really couldn't find anything that he thought I would really want and I came across these two cards and um, the first one I'm going to show it was actually ending on auction the night of that Columbia show. So he talked about, he goes, win that card, let me know how much it costs and I'll send you over the PayPal. I was like, okay. Um, and we talked about this card quite a bit because neither one of us has ever seen one. They're super rare, and it's from a very, very highly collected set. So we knew it was going to go for a lot of money. It went for more than I thought it would, I guess. I just didn't really realize how rare these cards were. Um, but it went for right around what Ryan and uh, John Bundles thought it would go for. And it is awesome. It's incredible. On-card autograph, old school from 2001. From 2001, Quantum Leaf. Century Season On Card Autograph of Bart Star. It's got the gold rainbow foil on it. And there's the, you can see there by the, right here. You got the stamp for the certified autograph, but huge bold On Card Black Ink Auto. And that is numbered 17 out of 21. And Probably not going to see another one of these for a long time. These cards are just, like I said, the set itself is super collectible. And you don't see very many cards from the set for sale. And you definitely don't see Star come up. So I had to go after it. I told Joey when it popped up, I sent Joey a link. And I, I'm sure he had probably already seen it already. But I sent him a message and said, hey, just so you know, I'm going after this card. I want it. And uh, I was able to get it. So love love that card thank you to ryan for uh helping me out with that that's beautiful love that baby and then this last card this is a card i've been talking about for years and years and years and never found one nice enough for me to pull the trigger on and it popped up on ebay uh, it was just a buy it now price there was no best offer and I was just thinking and thinking and thinking on it. And uh, I told Ryan, I said, hey, I found this. I said, if you would like to kick in this much on it, I said, I will purchase this and it, this will complete our deal if that's good with you. Or I said, if you, want, if you really do want to find me something, because I know that's something he likes to find really neat cards to get into people's PCs because Ryan's awesome like that. He likes to find rare, unique cards. And um, I told him, said, hey, if you would rather do that, I'm perfectly fine waiting and we can do it that way. Um, he goes, no, he goes, we can do this. He, he goes, whatever works for you. So I said, yeah, go ahead. Let's just go ahead and call it good on this. So he kicked me over some PayPal and I covered the rest of it and I love this card so much. Um, from 2000, Upper Deck, NASCAR, Sign of the Times, on card autograph of the Intimidator, Dale Earnhardt Sr. Huge, bold, bright blue autograph. So perfect. It, it, it's so awesome. Most of these cards are beat to hell, and the autographs have faded and turned that dark black blue color, or they're super, super streaky. This is neither one of those. This is bright blue. 
even though you can't really tell. Nah, I guess if I move my arm and get some of the sunlight in there. This card is so pretty, and I, I believe I've mentioned in videos before, but I grew up in a household that loved NASCAR, and Dale Earnhardt Sr. was everything. He was everything in our family for that sport, and I always wanted an autograph of him, and he's got a lot of stuff out there. He's got a lot of janky stuff from scoreboard QVC days that I don't really trust. Um, but he's got a lot of certified autographs out there. It's just most people don't want to sell them. And this one's really tough to find, especially in this kind of condition. It is so pretty. And, uh, yeah, so that is in my PC now. And that is my video. I guess we're over 30 minutes. And I even cut down on some of my rambling. But, yeah, you know, like I said, I want to get a video out before, uh, I leave for the Packers game this weekend. I've got one more card coming in, but it was supposed to be here yesterday, and I don't even see it coming tomorrow because the postal system has fucked it up real good. It's just bouncing around out there. So, um, actually, I got two cards because I purchased another one last night. I purchased another card for my Tier 1 baseball set. But, beside the point, but yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted that another Clay Matthews that's out there in the postal service system I wanted it to show up before I shot the video but I just didn't see it happening so I was like go ahead get the video shot get it uploaded and be good with it and just save the other cup cards for the next video whenever that may be um, it may not be till around Christmas or after because the holidays are coming and I won't be spending my money on cards I will have to be purchasing Christmas gifts for family and whatnot so, this may be the last card video I shoot for quite some time. Um, depending on how Sunday goes and this weekend coming up goes, I'll have to shoot a video and um, just talk about how awesome it was in the past tense um, to hang out with everybody. I can't wait to see Joey and Eric and hopefully get to meet Chad for the first time. And I think there's going to be some other people from the Packers group that we're going to meet up with on Sunday on game day. So it really should be a lot of fun. Um, but one thing I wanted to do besides go to the game is visit the Packers Hall of Fame. Because when I was there last time, it was under renovation, so it was closed, so I didn't get to see it. It is open, and from what I've heard, it is awesome. So we are going to hit that up either Friday or Saturday, and I can't wait for that. So... Hope everybody's doing well, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.